Hey everyone, this is Battery Blade and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about my experience with the Kia EV6's 12 volt battery issue. This is a common issue affecting a lot of people, so I thought this video is important. I'm gonna be showing you how to save your 12 volt battery when it's dead to revive your car so you can get to where you're going, some tips to prevent your 12 volt battery from dying, and most importantly, the solution so that way you don't have this problem every day because this is a very tough problem to have. So I hope you enjoy the video. Now let's get into it. Thanks for watching so far. Make sure you like and subscribe so that way I can get to a thousand subscribers. And in this video, our Kia EV6's 12 volt battery died. So the first step on fixing our 12 volt battery, we gotta get this hood open. Now, unlike the uh, Tesla's hood, it's not just as simple as clicking on the uh, app and opening the frunk. You actually have to go in the car. It's got a normal hood latch. Check this out. All you have to do is pull this hood latch. You can see we have our OBD dongle plugged in. That way we can uh, see what the issue is with our 12 volt battery. This over here. And unlike the Tesla, it actually has a regular car latch. So you have to unhook it with your hand sort of to the left. And you can see under the hood. Now this is after 50,000 miles, pretty dirty under here. You have the 12 volt jumper cables and we have this, or jumper battery. So what we wanna do here with this cable is we wanna get this battery, which I'll uh, have an Amazon link. I think it was about $60. See right here, just plug in this cord. And now, obviously, if you have another car with you, you don't have to um, do this. You can easily just use regular jumper cables on the Kia EV6. You gotta open up this battery here. There's a little cover. Um, we've jumped this 12 volt battery so many times, I don't know why I haven't just gotten rid of that cover. You gotta put our clips on there. And you can see our car is now turned on. You can hear it starting up. Oh, is it gonna shut on? Now I gotta go in the car and press start. Quickly start our car up. Our car goes from six volts all the way up to 13. This is by far the worst part about owning a Kia EV6 is this 12 volt battery issue. Now, if you don't keep your car constantly on the charger, or constantly in utility mode, the 12 volt battery will die within a minute after 50,000 miles on our car in particular, but lots of other owners have reported this issue. So make sure you're aware of if you want an EV6, you might have some unexpected issues and may have to find a uh, replacement 12 volt battery is mo the most likely solution. It fixes the issue for a lot of people buying a new battery and I definitely recommend a lithium ion because it's a lot uh, better than the uh, lead acids, especially in the winter time. The Kia EV6 started developing this issue right in the uh, winter time when the winter just had a huge effect on our lead acid battery, not our high voltage battery, that's been doing fine in the winter, but our lead acid battery, it's just super, super weak that if it's uh, not turned on, and it's just in uh, 12 volt battery mode or just any mode not plugged in, it dies like really fast, like within a uh, minute. So we definitely need a new battery is I'd say the first solution. But um, other owners have reported that a new battery doesn't completely fix the issue, that it is within the uh, software of the um, Kia EV6 and that it has some bad battery management system that the way the battery management system works is during the night, it uh, charges the 12 volt battery on a timer instead of just sensing when the battery is low and charging it then. And if your car is um, uh, technically like on and sending signals to your phone, sending you notifications and stuff, that's using the 12 volt battery. And let me show you how to turn off the notifications so that way hopefully your 12 volt battery doesn't die. Now for me, one of the greatest solutions to living with a Kia EV6 with a bad 12 volt battery is the utility mode. And we gotta just leave our car on 
in utility mode with the climate settings off for long-term storage. Otherwise, we have to have it plugged in or we have to go out to our car and it will be completely dead. So those are the two options with the Kia EV6. A utility mode's on, our car, we can just have it locked and just keep it here and the 12 volt battery will survive, not wasting very much power because our 100 volt battery system is good and we're not using any climate controls. You just turn it off there by pressing this fan button here. And the Kia EV6 is usable if you do that, but it's really just not a good car because of this. So here's how you put the car in utility mode. Go here, you click on EV icon. Now you just have to click settings and go down to there's winter mode, which this preconditions your battery for charging. This is utility mode. Now this is like Tesla's camping mode. Now this uses a high voltage battery to power uh, pretty much everything in the cabin, which is, I don't understand why this isn't how the car works on default. This uh, would mitigate any 12 volt battery uh, issue, but instead you just have utility mode, which uh, activates everything in the cabin with the high voltage battery, but in utility mode, it disables the vehicle from putting it in drive. Now let me show you, if I try to put the vehicle in drive and have my foot on the brake, see, it says I can't shift because I'm in utility mode. So you can leave your car in utility mode in the parking lot and take your keys with you. No thieves can get away with your car because the only way to drive after you put it in utility mode is to turn the car off. We'll take it out of utility mode and then you got to turn it back on with the key. Hopefully our car's 12 volt battery didn't just die. And our car's 12 volt battery is dead. This is how fast our Kia EV6 uh, 12 volt battery dies. <laughs> I have my foot on the brake trying to press it. We need a new 12 volt battery. Let's go back outside. Let's click the power button on our battery system. Watch as the car's lights up. Um, let's see, these connected properly, yes they are, the car not powering up yet, there we go, now the lights turn on, because there's a light in there, car is on, we fix this 12 volt system, now watch as we can finally start the car. This video is the reason I will never ever buy a Kia EV6 ever again, and any Kia car for that matter. But right now, every day you have to keep it plugged in or in utility mode, otherwise the car is not usable. Whenever the car is on, the car is kept at 13.7 volts. The second I turn off the car, it goes down to 6 or 7 volts. That's just kind of amazing. And clearly the Kia EV6 does not come with a good 12 volt battery in it. This car has only made it 50,000 miles. A 12 volt battery should last longer than that. I don't know how long this video is, but that's just uh, my thoughts on this 12 volt battery uh, issue. And I guess I better make a new Kia EV6 review uh, after this video to update it because I said a lot of positive things about this car but this definitely overshadows a lot of it in my opinion because it isn't only just a bad 12 volt battery, it's their management system is also bad. It doesn't keep the battery charged properly. Um, so before our battery wasn't this bad, I think it's significantly gotten worse after the winter. Um, it used to be a little better than this. We'd only have to plug it in uh, every once in a while it would die, but now it's just every day. Um, but I hope you uh, like this short little video on the Kia EV6 12 volt battery uh, issue and that's kind of why I haven't been filming with this car as much is just because it's really annoying to drive 
and I'm not really liking the Kia EV6 right now. Consider subscribing. I need it, please. Now, this is the part of the video where I tell you how I fix a 12 volt battery issue in the Kia EV6. But unfortunately, there was no magic solution. I just had to bite the bullet and I replaced the 12 volt battery for around $260. And I did it myself because we have 50,000 miles on this car. So I'm not sure if it's still under warranty. Plus, dealerships take forever to replace these things and they are so simple i've seen kia ev6 forms where people the dealerships would take two weeks to uh, replace the 12 volt battery for owners so i don't recommend doing it i just recommend doing it yourself but uh anyways i replaced it two weeks ago and i haven't had any 12 volt battery uh issues since um so that's why i had to uh, wait a little bit to release this video and you can see some time difference between when i was describing the issues and now and that's just because i wanted to make sure that this actually worked and it was worth buying a new 12 volt battery because they're not really inexpensive but i think that buying a new 12 volt well, i think buying a new 12 volt battery is worth it because otherwise you're losing out on your forty thousand plus dollar car by having to jump it every day which was just not livable and we just ended up taking the tesla every day instead of the ev6 all because of the 12 volt battery issue so in conclusion i definitely recommend uh, that you replace your 12 volt battery i would say you should probably do it yourself and not do a dealership as they can take a long time um some tips for uh, keeping your car alive. Make sure you use utility mode or you have to be charging your 12 volt battery or it will die. Um, definitely turn off your app notifications. The Kia loves to send stuff that says your car is unlocked if you like leaving your car unlocked at your garage. Um, so Kia could definitely do a better job. This is a common issue, but don't worry. Your car isn't a lemon or actually it is, but uh, all you need to do is replace your 12 volt battery and you'll have a working car again. So thanks so much for watching my video. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.